Hello everyone and welcome to my first stab at playing Hellion, which is an early access game still in alpha that was recently released on Steam and many people have been playing it. It's an interesting sort of space game. I played this during a live stream so I got a lot of feedback and help because there aren't many tutorials on Hellion right now. Um, the first thing you have to do is select a server and there are a lot of servers available and your experience may vary depending on which server you decide to choose. Uh, I sorted by ping and tried to find one without anybody in uh, which was public and had a low ping and that seemed like the best option right there. After that the next step is to pick your starting point and I decided that the logical thing to do would be to pick fresh start. You start off in a cryogenic chamber and you've been asleep for a hundred years and you wake up to find, well, on a fresh start I didn't have much luck in figuring out what I would find. Uh, you can see there's a F for interact to open the door and when I opened it up the way that my character decided to step outside was sideways which led me to clip through the wall and get stuck and uh, so that was not a good thing I don't know if this is a particular start and instantly went in space and died so at this point it's a good thing to remember that this is alpha very early alpha from the Zeo Gravity team and you have to click this little uh, point of understanding on that note I tried fresh start again oh the music is from OC Remix by the way I don't know if there's any in-game music. From what I've heard, the sound in this game is sort of hit and miss right now. Uh, but yeah, I wasn't getting any in-game music, so I decided to put on OC Remix music on, on random shuffle. So I started in a fresh start again, and basically the same thing happened. I don't know if... I, I, I think people have fresh started without glitching into the walls, so I'll, I'll have to try it again some other time. Next, I tried out the random outpost option, and that turned out to be a much better idea. Here you can see me coming out of the cryogenic pod, well, looking around first and trying to be careful about going out of the cryogenic pod, but uh, this time my character stepped out straight out instead of sideways. I have no idea why the character was stepping out sideways uh, on the first start one, but here, all good. Um, right now motion blur is on and that seems like a bad idea. Eventually I'll turn it off but it's uh, creating an effect where the it's it's sort of not very smooth. Yeah you see right there really bad. But there's life support, those are ore containers and here I'm just trying to get a sense of my surroundings. Ultimately for survival experience in Kerbal Helps here are the video options and me turning off motion blur and you can see the other ones there. But yeah, experience in Kerbal Helps, there is docking in this game, there's EVAs, uh, you do eventually get to pilot a ship. Uh, I'm not going to be doing that in this episode since I'm just getting started. Uh, and also this outpost does not have a ship ready with it. So uh, when they say random, they mean random, you don't know what you're going to get. That's the environmental control, you notice that we have artificial gravity, not everywhere. And also one bar of pressure and a normal sort of temperature things. There is an air filter. There are, uh, you know, standard environmental controls. No food or water that I've noticed. So it's not a full-fledged sort of survival situation so far. But looking at what has already been implemented, we, we might expect more coming, coming soon. Uh, there have already been multiple patches uh, since the release to early access and substantial ones at that. Uh, here is the main uh, power bay thing, uh, generator, there you go, a field generator, and also it has the control for the artificial gravity in here. Um, yeah, I was eventually tempted to push that. There's no way of interacting with these, though it seems like there's a little power cell there just sitting around, and I couldn't pick it up. Anyway, that big red button is the artificial gravity control, and you'll see me pondering that. I mean, it's very tempting, big red buttons, you know how it is. Uh, but I decide to leave that be for now. It's a fairly big station, this outpost, and this is the hub of it. And you can see many... Every, everything is modular, so there's... Uh, oh, and that's a little section. There's sort of random patches where you don't have artificial gravity. This is one of them, so you see me floating around here. Um, you can still maneuver quite easily 
if you are in the floaty mode. I tried to get an EVA suit on, but that's a little bit complicated. You can see I've got a little full, and it turns out I've already got a suit, I guess. And so I couldn't equip that one. You have to unequip things and then equip. But I was still learning, getting help from chat to figure these things out. And um, some, some elements don't seem to work with uh, the suit you've got on, so that one in front of me didn't work, but the one I just put on did. Don't know why. Eventually I got a suit that worked, theoretically, but it didn't have any oxygen in. Well, it had a tiny little bit of oxygen in, you can see it in red there. And so I went right on the hunt for a more oxygen, some way to replenish my supply. I never found that. Uh, what I was encouraged to do by chat was to just find a better suit. And in order to do that, I needed to figure out how to equip and unequip things. You can see me going through the controls trying to figure out what's what. But there wasn't an unequip, well, there was an unequip button, G. But nothing that made it clear how to unequip my suit. Uh, here's another... Uh, area lacking gravity and I'm trying to figure out how to get to the bridge basically the command center of this outpost and so I'm floating up I've got my jetpack on you use T to toggle the jetpack so F to equip uh, G to unequip uh, T to toggle jetpack and then uh, W A S D Q E for normal uh, movement also um, uh, Left control is uh, crouch, space is is to go up. I mean, when I say crouch, you also to go down in jetpack mode. But this is the bridge, and so I was told that there was a better suit available here. But I was more looking for some way to replenish the oxygen. Now, since we're in an oxygen environment, you know, with the life support and all, uh, it's not killing me just because I've got no oxygen. But if I stepped outside, I assume that I would die. So here we go, uh, we see a little interface here, recharge station. I try to use it, but it's not a recharge station for the oxygen, it's just for batteries and such. Um, this is the inventory system, you get it by pressing tab. And I'm trying to figure out how to uh, get things on and off. You have to unequip the helmet and jetpack before you unequip the suit. This menu you get from F1, this gives all the keys. Going into the controls and settings does not reveal all the keys to you. Um, actually, yeah, it's, it's, it's got everything, but it's not entirely clear at first what everything is. Um, so I finally, finally equip a proper suit with a proper RCS pack, full of oxygen, ready to go into space. And that is my intention, but I'm still sort of looking around. There's some rifles there. I, I eventually want to get one. But uh, yeah, floating is fun, I have to say. Floating is a lot of fun. I think it's underappreciated how much fun you can have just uh, sort of bouncing around a station like this. I think I was doing a pretty good job of maneuvering overall, considering this was my first time. And so far, have not done something stupid in order to die, which is a plus. I did see other people stream it before, so I knew some basics, but I didn't pay that close attention as was obvious during certain parts. I didn't know about these uh, Jeffrey's tubes. So you crouch in and it's, it's just like in Star Trek, you know, you got a little tube that you can wander in. Um, it doesn't have gravity, which is interesting. So it is a floaty bit. You see I've got my weapon there, but nothing to use it on really. Uh, that would probably lead outside, which I I could have done, but I don't know if that would allow air to escape. I was very concerned about, um, you know, things getting sucked out of the station, which I've seen happen. There, there is that, that fact. This is a proper airlock, and it took me a heck of a long time to realize what to do here, even though I watched people play this and I had seen this panel before. But uh, yeah, I guess I was just having too much fun floating around. So uh, press F uh, F2 to uh, interact with that and uh, depressurize. Of course, closing the inner door first. I did that already. Um, but you can see it's slowly depressurizing. Dramatic music from OC Remix making this a lot better. Yeah, there are a lot of parts where uh, the incidental music I had on while playing this on the live stream 
Turned out to be pretty good. It was appropriately dramatic, like right here. I've just got it on shuffle, I'm not picking the tracks. And this is just a good piece to have when you're about to embark into space for the first time. So here we go, floating. Jetpack on. And out we go. At this point, I don't have anything particular to do in space. Oop, and a little bit of lag. Now again, your experience may vary depending on your server. So that's an important note. Here I'm trying to figure out the inventory system. I'm not used to this kind of inventory, honestly. I think there are games uh, that people play that um, often have this kind of inventory. Uh, I, don't, I don't play those games very often. Without any particular goal, I just sort of looked around. We saw an asteroid there. Uh, so mining is a possibility. You see an asteroid, you know it must be mined. But I didn't know what mining could do for us. There's our outpost. Fairly big and roomy. It's uh, hefty. It, it feels feels like a decent station. I saw a little speck there. You can see a little speck. And moving towards it, I discovered it was actually a body floating with a drill. Uh, very easy to spot a drill because it's got the orange color and it's got an ore container on the side. But I couldn't get the drill. I tried to grab the drill from that floating astronaut, but um, apparently that's not allowed. So this is not like some other games where you could easily do that. I don't know if that was an actual player. Maybe it's an actual player who just logged out and they're sort of protected. Here I'm heading into the hangar bay after being told that it was a thing. And that's gravity reasserting itself once you enter. It's uh, not very kind. Uh, you really have to scramble. And there is a drill. So now, now I am armed with a drill and I need an ore container and also a battery. Um, I find out that the top slot and bottom slot are not symmetrical. In other words, uh, you can put a gun in either one, but you can only put the drill in the top one, so that was what I was having trouble with there. Just figuring out the inventory system is interesting, but uh, not hard, I wouldn't say. I mean, all of the events that you see here took place within an hour, so it doesn't take too long to get the hang of things. Oh well, again, as long as you're somewhat used to EVAing in Kerbal. So, armed with an uh, ore container and a battery. The batteries are a little bit tough to spot, by the way. They're little square things, but I had help with chat. Uh, some people were more experienced with the game than I was, and others had at least watched other people stream it with uh, more focus than I did. Um, just there, you saw I was able to maneuver quite well without the jetpack on, so I didn't even notice the jetpack was off. But I wasn't going very fast. With the jetpack on, you go much faster. But it's interesting you can maneuver without the jetpack. I guess we have reaction wheels. But here I am, I slammed right into the asteroid and started drilling. It seemed like the thing to do. Uh, I didn't really have an indication of how fast I was going, just no, no velocity indicator at all. So I just uh, went in at the speed I thought was right and, and it worked out. We didn't get any collision damage that I know of. Our oxygen is about a quarter off after all the adventuring. Uh, you can raise your visor and so inside the station I guess you can use the station's oxygen though it still seemed to be depleting while my visor was up. So not too sure about that. We got a full load of ore and basically it goes one battery equals one ore canister. Uh, we know that on the in the control center we can recharge the batteries. There was that station for that, so that can be done. Um, here, once again, trying to figure out inventory. Uh, I had dropped the drill, I guess, when I uh, went back into gravity. This is a nifty little panel, but it does nothing. Um, it drops down every time you approach it, but uh, that's future functionality right there. Instead, we have this cargo interaction panel, which is where we're supposed to drop off our what we mined uh, but uh, it's a little bit cumbersome it doesn't automatically take the ore canister from you you have to drop the ore canister off of the drill you have to unequip the drill and then pick up the ore canister and then install it into the system it doesn't show it there but it's i think that's what i think the ore canister is placed on the side right there i assume that's my ore canister 
Anyway, and then we have to unload. For some reason, refining in at this station doesn't work. I wanted to know what refining did to the dry ice. And maybe it produced some essential life support, for instance. But it didn't work, and instead the game crashed. I skipped that part, but the game actually crashed. And this is actually me after the crash, going back to the same place, and deciding not to mess with it any further. So I decided that that was a sufficient achievement to end my first foray into Hellion with, a little over an hour of play, and I had gone out and done some drilling, brought some ore back, or uh, dry ice back, and I was quite happy with that. Uh, there was a little bit of stickiness in the server at this point too, so again, mileage may vary on that. But uh, th it shows some promise, and again, there are ships, there is docking, it's a lot more complicated than what I've shown here. This was just me getting a, a start, but it seems like a legit sort of uh, space game to have fun with, and I hope it gets developed further. So, on that note, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.